Hi there, it's Miriam with Engadget. I'm here at Maker Fair with Michael Curry of MakerBot, and we're actually at the robot petting zoo. As you can see behind us here, there's lots of robots and lots of kids. So, Michael, tell me a little bit, how did this happen? <laughs> what did you do here exactly? Well, last year we went to the, uh, the Maker Fairs and we had turtle shell racing based right. on a little turtle shell I I remember that. And it was awesome, we loved it, but the problem was, only three people could do it at a time. Uh -huh. So we had this huge line of kids who desperately wanted to drive around in turtle shells. Right. And they had to wait. Okay. So we wanted to build something where more people could play with it at once. Well, I think you've succeeded based on what I'm seeing here. So tell me about the robot you're holding right now. Well, this is my personal, this is the one that I designed. This is your group. own pet. This is my own pet. This is Wheelie. Wheelie is based on the idea of what would a robotic chicken look like. Uh -huh. so kind of taking the idea of a flightless bird that tastes good <laughs> and turning that into a robot. Right on. With a little cute face and everything. That's fantastic. So tell me a little bit, like how, uh, you told me how the idea came about. How long did it take you to execute on this to be ready for Maker Fair? Well, in preparation for this Maker Fair, we've been working on these robots for a little over two months. Wow. So not just designing them, but making sure they work. Right. Making sure they were cute enough and making sure they could be sat on by a top. Of course, sat on. Very important. I think there's one over there sitting on one. They're gonna right try now. to. They're gonna try to ride them, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. So tell me a little bit more. How many d different types do you have? Obviously, you have this guy here. So right now we have four separate species of robot. We have the wheelies, which I call them it's, uh, the robot chickens. We have the bubble bots who spray bubbles out of their back. I when saw they get that. Excited. Yeah, yeah. There's one right down here. Oh yeah, they're very popular. The bubble bots. And then you saw the, there's one that you can touch has a whole bunch of buttons on it. Yes, right? he's called Button Bot. Uh -huh. We really believe in literal names here. At Bot. And then do you have another one? We have one more. He's called Bumper Bot. Bumper. Bumper Bot. He's our Zen robot. He just keeps going. He's also our most reliable. Oh, <laughs> right on. So, um, now you took it took you about you said eight weeks to get to here, right? Yeah, it took about four, four uh, sorry, two months. Two months. About eight weeks. That's quite a bit of time. Uh, what are you gonna do with the zoo after Maker Fair? I uh, do you have big plans for the future of the zoo? Well, we're gonna keep working on it. You know, we're gonna keep going off and on, see what worked here, and try to expand it so when we come to New York, it'll be even more awesome. Oh, I'm sure we'll come and visit you then too. So if you want to build your own petting zoo or just your own petting zoo robot, by the end of this week, all of these designs are going to be on Thingiverse, which is MakerBot's website for the 3D designs. You can download them for free and print them out. Awesome. Thanks. Cheers. It's been a pleasure.